New at 11, a local police officer accused of stealing his competitor's campaign signs. Investigators say he was caught on camera. CBS 46's Alan Devlin spoke to that officer tonight who says he didn't do it. Alan is live in Clarkston with the story. Yeah, good evening, ladies. It all went down right here at this intersection. Someone caught on camera stealing campaign signs right over here. Like you said, law enforcement says they believe they've got the guy that did it, one of their own, but the suspect says they've got the wrong guy. What brings you out here today is the thing that I'm being accused of something that I didn't do. Riverdale police officer and Clarkston City Council hopeful Larry McClam right now facing charges for allegedly stealing his opponent's campaign signs from out front of this repair shop. Security footage released from the Clarkston City Police Department shows an unidentifiable person walk onto the property and illegally remove the signs. What was identifiable, according to investigators, the police car the person got into. The Riverdale Police Department says it's one of theirs and is assigned to McClam. I didn't do anything wrong. That'll be proven in a court of law later on. But McClam has attained an attorney, maintains his innocence, and says it wasn't him. Now, I've been doing this job as long as I've done it. And to still be persecuted as a criminal, to still be persecuted as guilty and to prove an innocent, that's unfortunate. But, um, but that's what's going on here. McClam served on the Clarkson Police Department from 2013 to 2016 and says he left after he felt he was being discriminated against. He says this plot is an effort to railroad his campaign. That's unfortunate, but, um, but that's what's going on here. I'm going to fight for you and we're going to get through this. Please call me if you have any questions and we're going to get through this. And there he is right there on your screen, Dean Moore running for city council. He is the one who says his signs were stolen. We reached out to him for comment about this matter. He declined to participate in this story. For now, we're live in Clarkston. Alan Devlin, CBS 46 News.